One of the big strengths of Duke University as a whole is that it is very encouraging of interdisciplinary research across departments and across schools. We have been traditionally very strong in nuclear and particle physics and uh, we have recently embarked on two exciting new initiatives. One is in cosmology and the other one is in quantum computing, which is a joint endeavor with Duke's electrical and computer engineering department, which I believe has led us to hire a world-class group of faculty uh, in this domain. I think one really good thing about the physics department at Duke is that we have a broad variety of faculty working in many different areas, but these different areas, be they astrophysics or biophysics, soft condensed matter or materials, they all overlap so that faculty can work in different areas and yet they can collaborate. I think that makes us very agile. Duke is uh, an ideal place to do the research I'm planning in the area of quantum computing, quantum information science, partly because it's not a typical field that involves only one department. It's multidisciplinary from the sciences to engineering, even social sciences. The use cases for quantum computing are going to span almost everything. I've known Duke for a long time to have this attitude of just going after something, and when they go after it, they put all of the resources of the entire university into it, and this is one of those. These scientific applications of quantum computing are really important. I think it's going to keep the field going until commercial activity makes it like silicon was in 1960. The physics department supports us uh, at Duke in that uh, our group in the last two and a half years has grown to be one of the biggest cosmology groups in the country. And it has given us resources to kind of grow and bring in uh, a number of visitors from our international collaborations and hold regular talks. Dan and I are both leaders in the Dark Energy Survey, which is the largest ongoing photometric cosmology survey. And we're both uh, leading efforts to prepare for the Rubin Observatory, uh, which will start in a few years, and the uh, Nancy Grace Roman Space Telescope, which will hopefully launch in 2026. And our focus is really on building the tools and dynamics to take advantage of these exciting surveys. I'm an experimental high energy physicist. And so I study proton collisions in order to investigate the interactions of mostly strongly interacting particles like quarks and gluons. And Duke has been doing high energy physics at least since the late 60s. And we've been involved in proton collider experiments since before I came to Duke. And we get to work with graduate students and students and also closely collaborate with our colleagues in particle theory and in nuclear physics. A Duke physics undergraduate is encouraged to get involved with research and to form mentoring relationships with faculty as soon as possible. The introductory course sequence prepares them to start thinking about entering a lab or a research environment from their first or second semester at Duke. Graduate students who work with us in particle physics have the chance to not only work with the Duke physics community, but also with a much broader community of physicists because we're collaborating internationally with thousands of other people. Um, and I think that gives them a really strong base because they come from Duke and they come from a very strong and nurturing physics environment, um, but they're also exposed to what physics looks like internationally. Everybody here at Duke has been incredibly welcoming and they always make sure to check in on us. My cohort is very close and it's totally uh, something that fosters a good sense of community and it, it fosters a lot of collaboration to help work together and I never feel as if I'm alone working here. What really set Duke apart for me was the fact that we had access here to Tunnel, which is the Triangle University's nuclear laboratory. Tunnel is a collaboration between four different schools here in the Research Triangle area. And a lot of what I wanted to do was get training for myself that I could potentially apply towards working at a national laboratory in the future. And skills working with your hands and being able to do hardware projects are very important and Duke gives that opportunity here. Being a member of our community in the department is, 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 is very exciting. We have a stimulating research environment the university clearly is investing a lot of resources into the sciences. We have hired uh, an excellent slate of diverse faculty and we are very interested in taking this diversity into our grad student population and our undergraduate population.
So it's the whole package. It's the institution, it's the small administrative overhead that we have uh, on, on our researchers, uh, and it's the great environment that makes this a very attractive place for people to come. This is a great place to work and live.